We're here in the Dolmites. It's uh, located in northeastern Italy, right on the Austrian and Italian border. So the goal of this trip is to get team members together so that we can all improve as athletes or outdoors people or just people in general. It's a little bit like if a corporation got their employees together for like a team building exercise, we do the same in our own elements. I came to the Dolomites this year directly after my last competition on the Freeride World Tour, which was in Austria, not too far from here. I've been competing in Freeride for about 14 years. Caroline's an internationally certified mountain guide, and to see how she navigates that uh, scene and uh, space of being a professional guide was really cool because she's so good at that, as well as seeing how she skis and climbs and all of these abilities she has as an athlete. Being here with Ben has also been super cool just to be around somebody who's comfortable on on the most extreme terrain you can imagine, you know, overhanging rock, overhanging ice. It's just like uh, walking down the sidewalk for a normal person. So being around somebody who's that comfortable in these incredibly steep and exposed environments is really inspiring. Well, in the United States, we have just these vast tracts of open wilderness where it's protected by law, you can't build anything there. But it's also really cool to come to an area like this and just see how connected everything is and see all kinds of people getting out into the mountains that you just wouldn't see in the United States. Infrastructure is everywhere. There's cable cars, cafes, roads, ski runs. Everywhere you turn, you see uh, different signs of civilization. And so in a way, I feel like people are more connected and have a better understanding of the outdoors and the wilderness because they get to be immersed in it and appreciate the beauty of it easier. Pretty short uphill, like 250, 300 meters. Uh -huh. Kind of south facing. Uh -huh. So that's why it's going to be a bit firm. We're going to ski down the backside from the hut and then contour this like ridge line here. Uh, okay. Go up and over this pass. Normally I focus on the downhill and now I'm with uh, Carolyn Ware, George, Ben Ditto, and Sirius Alpine Crushers. And I'm, to be honest, a little bit slower than these guys for some reason. Love learning more about guiding from our amazing guide, Caroline. Can't get much better. Drew is like such an amazing, flawless skier. It's really cool. I want to ski like him. How does he do it? So I'm just like watching like, I'm like oh, maybe I can get some of that. <laughs> A lot of these ski tours in the Dolomites are like a cable car ski tour, ski to the other side of the mountain range, catch a taxi back home, covered a lot of distance. That was a 12 mile ski we just completed. Man, I feel great. Amazing skiing followed by sitting down to uh, my favorite food. Does it get much better? I don't think so. The universe has just uh, waited. <laughs> <laughs> made this week extra cool so that we could go do this amazing ice climb in the sun as my first ice climb of the season. I cannot be more excited. <laughs> it's so cool. Nice Carol, you're cruising. <laughs> I absolutely am super psyched to learn more about ice climbing. It's uh, sort of a big gap in my mountain knowledge. If you're too far over to the left or too far over to the right with your upper body, you're gonna, it's gonna feel really awkward. Nice, Drew. Yeah, just be careful now, you have a little consequence. Okay. 
Ice climbing is kind of cool. I don't know if it'll ever be my number one thing, but damn, it gives me a lot more respect for people that do it. I have to say, like, my first ice climb was much more mellow than this, you know? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. I think one of the biggest lessons I'll take away from this trip is how efficient you can be in the mountains. Everything is second nature to Ben and Caroline, and we're just able to move through technical terrain without any lost time at all. It's not so much that we learn something specific from each other, I think it, we just learn like different experiences. Just by watching people, you learn so much. For me, the ski has always been a tool to move around in the mountains on my expeditions, faraway places. But skiing is really fun. And that's really what Drew showed me on this trip. All of these sports, they complement each other. If you want to get to the top of the mountain, you got to be able to deal with whatever's thrown at you.